What ecosystems are within a grassland biome? When the Concho Valley was pristine, before the Western expansion, there were three dominating ecosystems in the region. Being a mixed grass prairie with about 20 inches of rain per year, the flatlands were inhabited by a diverse list of grasses and animals. Small bushes were seen intermittently, but they did not dominate. Small trees would sprout from seed, but lightning-induced fires and or grass competition kept trees on the flatlands rare and small in size. In the lowlands, riverbeds and creek beds, shrubs, trees, and vines existed. A dominating species of tree was and still is the pecan tree. The lowland stream beds are called riparian zones. In the highlands, small hills and plateaus, cedars, yuccas, and coarse shrubs existed. Within each of the three ecosystems, animal life were and still are specialized for eating food within their niches. But most mobile animals would depend on the lowland pools of water in the intermittent stream beds. For at least once a day, they would get life-giving water. There were wet years and there were dry years. So the communities of various populations within each ecosystem underwent cycles of better than average survival rate and worse than average survival rate. As in all ecosystems, catastrophic events temporarily stripped plants, the base of all food chains, to a scary low level. The Concho Valley's three major ecosystems were affected by events such as migrating buffalo herds, prairie fires, hailstorms, tornadoes, and massive floods, followed by lengthy droughts. But with secondary succession, the region always recovered. And each species population evolved ever so slightly to be hardier than prior to the catastrophic event. The riparian zone, grassland prairie, upper hill ecosystems, all exist in the Concho Valley area.